Hey, what's up Chemical Guys family? Today we're going to be sharing with you guys our top five tips for drying your ride. That way you achieve that perfect streak-free shine every single time. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so first and foremost, whenever it comes to washing and drying your vehicle, you always want to do it in a shaded environment. You never want to do it in the sun simply because the sun is going to heat up the surface, it's going to dry up the water, and whatever minerals are in that water are going to stain and be left on the surface. And that's how you get water spots. So you definitely don't want to be doing any of that kind of stuff. Remember, work smarter, not harder. Right now, we actually just finished washing this Chevy, and as you guys can see, there's still a bunch of standing water on the surface. So we're gonna go ahead and kick off our tip number one, which is using a premium microfiber drying towel. So right here, I have my Woolly Mammoth drying towel, and as you guys can see, this thing is massive. Not only is it massive in size, but it's also very thick, very plush, very soft, and silk lined. So it's the ultimate premium microfiber drying towel. Now we're using this towel because obviously you don't want to dry your vehicle with any old dirty rags you find in your garage, an old t-shirt, an old sock. I mean, I don't know what people are using nowadays to dry their vehicle, but if it's rough on your skin, it's going to be rough on your paint and it's definitely going to scratch it up. So that's why we use a premium drying towel like the Woolly Mammoth. And it's very easy to use. And there's actually a bunch of different ways that you can use this drying towel to dry your ride. One of them is to simply drag it along the paintwork, such as like this. So you can go ahead and set it down. And then you can kind of blot it out in the area that you're going to be working in. And then you're simply going to go ahead and grab it on one side and simply drag it down. And then make sure that you kind of put pressure down just slightly. That way you pick up any water from the crevices. And just like that, you guys, it's that easy to dry your ride. Now, another method that I'll show you guys how to use this towel is since it is massive in size, go ahead and fold it in half. You don't have to use it the full size. You can actually fold it in half and even in fours if you'd like. I like to do it in half and I'll show you guys a different way of drying your vehicle. One of them is like this. So what you want to do is grab the towel, set it down flat onto the surface. And then once you set it down flat, all I want to do is simply pat dry it. And this is another safe way of drying your vehicle, especially if you feel like there's any kind of contaminants that are sitting on the vehicle. You simply can blot it out like this. That way you're not dragging it along the paintwork. And then all you have to do is simply pick it up and you're all good to go. All right, guys, moving on to tip number two is using a drying aid. Now, if you ever feel like your paint has a lot of tension, such as whenever you put your drying towel down, you drag it and you have a lot of streaks left behind, then you can use a drying aid like our afterwash. Now, our afterwash is designed to help you achieve that perfect streak-free shine. And it also has synthetic gloss enhancers that shine your ride as you dry. So I'm gonna show you guys the science behind this product. So as you guys can see, there's a bunch of standing water left right here on the surface. Now, one thing that this product does is it instantly breaks down the water tension. So right now, as I'll spray it on the hood, you'll see that all this water just kind of starts drooping down. All right, guys, so as you guys see, it broke down the water tension on the surface. You saw all that water just kind of start breaking down. And you also have those synthetic gloss enhancers on there right now. So what you want to do now is simply grab your towel, set it down. And then same thing like the first tip, all we're going to do is simply grab our towel and drag it down the paintwork. All right, guys, and just like that, check out those incredible results. Not only is it dry, but it has a perfect streak-free finish and a nice high gloss shine as well. So that's another great way of drying your vehicle. You can have a lot of water tension on the surface if you don't have a protectant on your vehicle, like a glaze, a sealant, a ceramic coating, or even a wax. So if you don't have anything applied like that, maybe it's not your own vehicle, maybe you do it as a business and you're working on other people's vehicles, our afterwash is a perfect product to have on hand. All right, guys, now just to speed up the process a little bit, just because we still have a lot of standing water on the surface, we're going to go ahead and finish off drying the large surfaces with our microfiber drying towel. But before we do that, I'm going to show you guys our tip number three before we kick it off with that montage, which is going to be using an air blower to dry all the cracks and crevices. Now, you can use our Pro Blow to dry your entire vehicle, or you can use our microfiber drying towel to dry your entire vehicle. Personally, I like to use a combination of both. I like to use a drying towel to dry the large surfaces such as the hood, the windshield, the roof, and the door panels, and all much more. And then I like to use the Pro Blow for drying all the intricate areas like the grill, any kind of fenders, emblems, logos, wheels, and much more. So we're going to go ahead, dry this stuff up, and then we'll be right back with you guys for the Pro Blow. Yeah. 
All right guys, so moving on, now we're gonna start attacking the cracks and crevices with the Pro Blow. Now the Pro Blow is great because you can easily blow out all the standing water in these cracks and crevices like the grill, the logo, the emblems and stuff. So right now what we're gonna do is, since we've already dried the entire vehicle with our Woolly Mammoth drying towel, now we're simply gonna attack these areas with the Pro Blow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blow them out, show you guys all the different areas where you can use it in, and then we'll show you guys the final results. Alright guys, so now that we're done blowing out all the cracks and crevices, we're going to move on to tip number four, which is wiping down the problem areas. Now what I mean by problem areas is all the water that we've extracted using our blower, now some of it may be on the body of our vehicle, which we've already dried. So now we have to go back and wipe that stuff off. But luckily, we're not going to have to go back once again, simply because there's no more standing water in those cracks and crevices. So all that there's left to do is to give the vehicle basically a final wipe down. So right here we have our soft touch two-faced microfiber towel. Now this towel is great for finishing, such as whenever you're polishing. However, in this case, I like using it just for the final touches of drying your vehicle, simply because it's super soft, it's very plush, it's silk lined, just like the Woolly Mammoth. So it's the perfect kind of little quick touch-up towel just to pick up any sanding water or any kind of leftover grime. And then to pair it, I'm gonna be using it with our synthetic quick detailer. Now, I like to use this with the towel simply because if there's areas like the door jams, which we will get into, where there's still maybe like some light dust or any kind of debris, or maybe, you know, during the span of you drying your vehicle, a bird just magically decides to just poop on your vehicle, this is a great quick fix to keeping your vehicle with you at all times for any kind of light messes like dirt, dust, and debris. So now what I'm gonna do is simply grab some of our synthetic quick detailer, spray about three sprays onto my microfiber towel, set my bottle down, and I'm simply gonna start wiping down the areas where there's still some leftover water that's standing. Now we did get the front grill, so there may be a lot of lingering water on this grill. So we just wanna make sure we pick that stuff up and just pick up any grime that may have been left behind. Now that's one of the little things when it comes to washing a vehicle. Sometimes there is some dirt and grime within the cracks and crevices of your vehicle that you may blow out as you're drying your vehicle. And you can easily just take care of that with a quick detailer like synthetic and a soft towel. So right now what we're gonna do is go into the problem areas such as the door jams. So right here what I'll do is open up the driver door and the rear door and I'll show you guys the areas that I'm talking about. So right here, as you guys can see, there's still a lot of dirt, dust and debris. There's some water spots right here. So all we're gonna do is simply wipe it down. And we have this beautiful soft touch microfiber drying towel to do this. And it's simply gonna allow us to just pick that stuff up without scratching the surface. So just giving it a quick little wipe down just to ensure that this area is clean. Remember guys, you never wanna wash your vehicle, dry it only to open up your door and still see that there's still a ton of water spots on those door jams. Nobody wants to be riding like that. So always make sure you tackle these areas because also over time what can happen is if you always wash your vehicle and you get those water spots there and they stay there, over time you're gonna have a heavy buildup of water spots and you're gonna have to be removing water spots in areas where isn't so common and it's just gonna be kind of a pain. So always make sure you just wipe it down. It's quick, it's easy, and it's gonna save you a lot of time in the long run. All right guys, so moving on, we're gonna move on to one area where I feel like most people don't usually dry up, which is gonna be your gas cap. So right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up. Check this out, you guys. So we washed the car, we dried it, and we blew it out, but there's still a lot of water that's still stuck in there. So in order to just clean that up and give it a quick cleanup, we're just gonna go ahead and grab our towel. I'm just gonna open it up, that way it's a little bit more flexible. That way I can pick up all the standing water that's still in this gas cap. So that way it's not just, you know, getting all water spotted. Since this is a lot of plastic, the last thing that you want to do is have water spots on your plastics just because it's very difficult to remove those. And this takes literally no time. If you love your vehicle, this is not going to hurt you to do. All right, guys, and now that we're done with that, now what we're going to do is move on to doing the rest of the vehicle. As you guys saw, there was a ton of cracks and crevices, logos, wipers and stuff where water just came all out of. So we're going to go ahead, dry that stuff up, give it a final wipe down, and then we'll be right back with you guys for the final tip, which is tip number five. So stay tuned.
tip number five is planning for the future. Now, what do I mean by planning for the future? Well, one of those things is gonna be clay boring and applying a protectant to your vehicle. Now, whenever it comes to your paint, having the smoothest paintwork is gonna determine how well your drying towel and your blower is gonna work. In this case, a clay bar is gonna help remove any kind of contaminants that are on the surface. So if your vehicle has never been clay barred, if it feels rough, it sounds raspy, then that's one clear indication that you need to clay bar your vehicle. A clay bar is extremely easy to use. All you have to do is simply pair it with the bottle of clay luber, spray directly onto the surface, glide it left and right to remove those contaminants. Once it feels very smooth, simply grab a microfiber towel, wipe off the residue, and you're all set to go. And then once you clay it, you wanna apply a protectant such as a sealant, a wax, or even a ceramic coating. In this case, we have our Jet Seal right here, which is a durable paint sealant that can be applied to paint, glass, chrome, wheels, headlights, and so much more. And it's extremely easy to use. All you have to do is simply apply it onto a microfiber applicator, apply a light thin coat onto the surface, and then wait about 10 to 15 minutes to wipe it off to reveal a nice high gloss shine and durable layer of protection. Now, I know you guys may be asking, how is that gonna help me with drying my car in the future? Well, I'll tell you why. So whenever it comes to your vehicle's paint, if it's glass smooth, the drying towel is gonna glide over the surface and that's gonna allow the water to just be wicked up by the drying towel. Now, whenever your paint is contaminated, it feels rough, it sounds raspy, then that means that there's pockets of contaminants that are sitting over the surface of a vehicle. And what happens when you're drying your vehicle is you're gliding that towel over the paintwork and that water is being dragged along your paint. And then that water gets caught within those pockets of contamination, which causes it to drag and streak along. So in order to prevent that, simply clear your paint, apply a protectant, and make sure it's always like that for the best drying experience possible. All right guys, and that's gonna wrap it up for this video on our top five tips for drying your vehicle. If you guys have any other suggestions for videos for our top five tips, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below and we'll make sure to get those videos for you guys. As always, make sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you guys wanna pick up any of the products that you guys seen in today's video, you can pick them up directly on our website, chemoguys.com or at your local detail garage store. They're also linked in the description down below as well. My name is Joey, this is Chemical Guys Detail Garage. I'll see you guys next time.